that's a wrap on phase one of my day because I have been doing something I highly recommend not doing because I'm actually double booked. I'm doing two shoots today and so after this shoot is wrapped, which just happened, it's a short film I'm filling in for them on the last day because their soundy wasn't available, I'm rushing straight off to do a night shoot back on the other side of town. So um, yeah, normally you don't want to do this at all because you're basically just tempting the fates that uh, the gods will hate you and somehow screw something up. But no, so far all good because I really like checked in with both sides. I let them, let this production know that okay, I can fill in for the guy, but I've got to have a hard wrap at this time, you know, and I've got to get out of here. And I let that, and I've got approval from the other shoot beforehand who are my friends who I'm doing the night shoot with tonight, just letting them know that, hey, I've got this other shoot I'm doing beforehand. They'll carry me walking in just a little bit late because they're probably going to spend two, three hours for their lighting setup anyway. And um, yeah, what can I say about today? It was basically this short film in which they didn't actually have too much dialogue really. It was kind of, yeah, they thought about a bit more pickup shots than they did. It was a pretty breezy day. Um, I used my trick with the C stand and then I sort of set my um, sound harness bag on that. So it really took the load off my back because it really was, all the shots were pretty static. I think all the dialogue we really had was actually them on a park bench. So that was like, it's nice to keep myself refreshed for the rest of the night shoot I'm going to have because when I got up at about 6am and I'm probably not going to get into bed until maybe 4am. <laughs> we'll see. And um, yeah, about the location, it's a kind of a cool park reserve we're at, but right across on the other side of this water, really close to us, we have an airstrip. And on that airstrip, a court, a, in spite of whatever false rumours there might be, that people conventionally think New Zealand's Air Force is just a bunch of paper plane darts. No, we actually do have a real Air Force, real Air Force here in New Zealand. And yeah, they just, apparently I was told about yesterday, they just had lots of helicopters and planes taken on and off. We had a little bit this morning, but all in all it wasn't too bad. So yeah, I think the day went well. And now on to the second part of the day. See ya. I'm now wrapped on my second and final shoot of the day. And the time is 2 minutes to 4 a.m. So I was pretty much almost exactly spot on with my guess. This is going to be a 22 hour day for me. Um, although we're wrapped and I've packed up my sound gear, the rest of the crew is still here, still packing up their gear in these vehicles. And um, yeah, 22 days across two, sorry, <laughs> 22 days, 22 hours across two shoots is a yeah pretty long day for me and I'm definitely feeling exhausted although it's definitely not my longest day either um, I've definitely had a few shoots go over 24 hours on just like some indie feature films that I, I don't know get sucked into um, yeah I don't know maybe I'm a sucker for endurance endurance and punishment seeing as I like endurance sports I did a, like a 33 hour trail walk once anyway um, yeah, it's not something that I recommend because A, doing something for 22 hours long is a really big strain on your body that, yeah, I was feeling pretty exhausted by the end of it. And uh, yeah, I've got another shoot tomorrow as well. So let's see how quickly I bounce back. Um, and of course, the really big downside about trying to do two shoots back to back is that you know, what if one, one's late? I mean, like, I got to this shoot, like, bang, when I said I would arrive. Well, actually, I'm going to be completely honest, I was actually uh, four minutes late. I got here at four past six, but, eh, whatever. Um, yeah, so, like, it's definitely not something I recommend, doing a back-to-back -back shoot. So, I'm sort of saying this in the sense of, don't do this. And, because, um, where was I was saying? Oh, passing car, you're going to get run over by. Not. Um, all the things I should recommend not doing is, uh, yeah, stand in the middle of the road while you vlog. Back on track. Um, what if the first shoot runs over time? What are you going to do? Are you going to say to that first shoot, sorry guys, I've just got to abandon you here and leave you alone and we're in your shoot because you're not going to be there and let them down. Or well, are you going to tell the second shoot, I'm going to let you down because I'm not going to show up and you're going to be without me. So obviously you're taking really big risk any time you do a two shoots back to back, which is why, you know, it's a bad idea. 
And what about perhaps another example could be what if the day before they decided to change their call time and they the second shoot moves their call time forward by a couple of hours? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna like go back to them and say, oh sorry, I, I can't do that? Or are you gonna tell the, the first shoot beforehand, oh, I'm now gonna leave you early? Like this there's many different ways to end up being screwed up. Um, so yeah, the only reason I did this was because I was like super upfront about them in the sense that oh, I've got to have a really hard time, I've got to go out and leave by. And they were all cool about that because they knew like most of the end of their day was not going to need sound. So even if they did run late, it wouldn't be a big deal if I left early because there was no dialogue for the last half of the day. And for the second shoot, I mean, I'm really good buddies with them and they knew they're going to take a long time for their lighting set up beforehand. So yeah, they were all okay with me. So, you know, I only did this because I was like super upfront and I, you know, explained it to both of them and got the okay with both of them before I actually went and did what I did today. Um, even so, like, I almost kind of made a mistake in the sense that I did leave a few batteries by accident behind at the first shoot. Although, that might have been a big deal because, you know, obviously when you're doing a 22 hour day, you do need a lot of batteries. But, I don't know, I, I only forgot a few batteries there, so I still had enough to get me through the day, so it wasn't a really big deal. Um, and actually I got one of my friends on the first screw to just drop it off at my second location as it was passing by, so yeah, that was all okay as well. Um, yeah, paid out fine, but yeah, no, you could easily imagine, it's another way, like if you just had to do two back-to-back -back shoots and something goes wrong on the first shoot, you lose something, break something, forget something, you've got no time whatsoever to figure it out and prepare to resolve that before your next shoot because you go straight on to it. So yeah, just many reasons. Don't do back-to-back -back shoots. <laughs> do what I say, not what I do. Um, anyway, this is kind of the re-exception. I think I only did last year in 2018. I think I only did one back-to-back -back shoot. Um, I think. So yeah, I have no great intention to do it, do it again this, this year. Just have an accident. Um, I'm rambling on again as I do. Is that everything I've got to say? Probably. Got to get back home and, you know, sleep before tomorrow's shoot. If you've got any questions, just ask them below. Happy to answer. Talk later next time.